Life's journey is never without obstacles. And discovering that you are suffering from the potentially life-threatening autoimmune condition called lupus could be an absolute roadblock. For Nicole Maestri, this diagnosis was the inspiration for her to find ways of her helping and motivating fellow lupus patients, which led to her becoming an international pageant finalist. Karusha met up with Nicole to find out how she came to make the journey. When Nicole Maestri took the crown at the Mrs. Internations event in Singapore recently, no one would have guessed that she has a potentially life-threatening medical condition. At the age of 19, Nicole Maestri was given some devastating news that she had the disease lupus, but that hasn't stopped her from living a fulfilling life. I'm meeting her today to see how she continues to live out her dreams. Hello. Hi, Carisha. I'm Brent. Welcome to Audacia Manor. The photo shoots this way. Great. It's very beautiful here. Thank you. It's a historical mansion that was built in the 1920s and it's perfect for a photo shoot. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So as you can see, as a good example from our terrace, why wow, this is such a good photo shoot venue. And there's Nicole over there. Thank you so much, Brent. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Lovely. As a brand ambassador, Nicole has come to feel perfectly at home in front of the camera. Hello. Hi, how oh, are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. You look beautiful. Why, thank you. What are we doing here? We're in the middle of a photo shoot for Drama Queen Boutique. Is this something that you do often? It's once a week, I'd say. I've always loved photography. I always loved fashion. And then the two met and I've fallen in love with it ever since. No matter the location or the look, Nicole has the pose and poise to show an outfit to best advantage. Nicole, you look beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, I know that you're no stranger to wearing ball gowns. I've worn them all. Ball gowns, evening attire, trains, no trains. In 2017, I joined a pageant, Mrs. India South Africa, and that just opened a door of glitz and glamour for me. So why did you decide to enter that? It really did align with my morals and values, and I thought, let me enter this pageant and show people that no matter your ailments, you can thrive, and I won. But I didn't stop there because I received such an enormous, warm reception from the public and my voice was being heard and I was raising awareness. And so I was then elected the brand ambassador for Mrs. Uniworld pageants. And I went on to Singapore to represent South Africa and I won the title of Mrs. Internations. And now that you do have a platform, what is your message? It doesn't define you. It is an incurable disease for now, but they're working on a cure and there are methods and ways and alternative medications that help you manage a healthy and balanced lifestyle. And the moment that we harness in on positivity, we just exude that same positivity. Around the time that you were diagnosed, lupus was not a well-known disease, but more and more people are talking about having it, especially celebrities. Correct, and I think it was more taboo because it wasn't really understood back then. Yes, definitely. I actually watched an interview with Selma Blair who has lupus now but was speaking about the fact that she was misdiagnosed for years. From a personal background I was being treated for anemia. I was underweight, also fatigued, I had constant blackouts and nobody really pinpointed lupus until they tested for it specifically. Nicole you are a powerhouse but I'm sure you can't be doing it alone. My husband is magnificent, he's a very hands-on dad and I need that. On days that I'm feeling a little bit low, he's the high. You know, he takes charge, he steps in, he takes care of the kids. And my mom, both my in-laws, my siblings, they give me such an immense amount of positivity, motivation, encouragement. They make me want to be better, do better, want better. In fact, my family is here. They brought us lunch. Won't you join us? I'd love for you to meet them. Oh, I'd love that. I'm just going to slip into something more comfortable. OK, great. So how old are your children? My daughter Mika is 11 and my son Kenzo is just about to turn seven. Oh, that's sweet. Hello, guys. Hi, hi. Keegan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Guys, say hi. Hi. Hi, this guys. This is Mika and Kenzo. Oh, they are so lovely. They're my saving grace. I'm sure it couldn't have been an easy decision to decide to have children given your diagnosis. I always saw myself being a mom. And I did all the research. I've been to all the doctors and I thought, if it's safe, I'm going to do it. And, and, and so I did, and I have no regrets. It was not an easy pregnancy. In fact, both my pregnancies were not easy, but I had a good team, medical team behind me. And through prayer and support, I just 
it's Miracle Kids. And you decided to do the pageantry post having children, why? I think my kids were just too little to have to focus on self at that time. That moment you give all of yourself to the kids, just in that element. And then I went on to realize, I want to do more. I want to be more, I want to grow more. And then pageantry, and then it's just grown step after step. But there are a lot of things I still want to do. In fact, Krusha, I've always wanted to do something and today I have found the courage enough to do it. Won't you please join me? Okay, I'm nervous and excited. Let's do it. Nicole revealed that her greatest nightmares lurked beneath the waves and now she was going to meet them face to face. So Krusha, welcome to my fear, which I'm going to overcome today. I cannot believe you're going shark cage diving. I almost can't believe it either, and the water is icy today. Why is this something you want to do? I've always had a fear of the unknown, because it's always dark and eerie down there, and I thought, you know, carpe diem, seize the moment, if not now, when? I am excited to watch you do this. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Great. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> really is icy. I'm so proud of you. What a cool experience. Thank you so much for being here, Krusha. Um, I'm so proud of myself as well. Oh, beautiful. Mom, shockage diver, <laughs> pageant queen, <laughs> all of the things. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I know that you are freezing. It is freezing. Go and get changed. Hubby's here because you guys are going to have, I've heard, a beautiful dinner. I'm looking forward to seeing you in a bit. Sure. Bye, guys. Hey, Keegan, how's it? Nice to see you again. Oh, you're going to be so proud of Nicole. She did so well. It was amazing. She's just getting changed out of her wetsuit. Oh, there she comes now. <laughs> oh, it was incredible. It was absolutely amazing. It was an out-of-body experience. They're such majestic creatures, and I definitely will be doing it again. So fear conquered. Fear conquered. I've done it. <laughs> Why is it important for you guys to have date nights like this? I think your identity as a couple outside of being parents, it's vital to have that alone time and just appreciate each other. I know you said earlier that without him, you wouldn't be able to do it all. That's true. He does support me and in all of my endeavors, he's the other leg that I stand on. In fact, we've just done the big walk. We've done it as a family initiative. It was also done to raise lupus awareness and I think together as a family, we, we get a lot more done. Nicole, thank you so much for spending time with me today and letting me into a little bit of your life. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Thanks for being with us, Krusha. We, we really enjoyed your company. Okay, lovebirds. Enjoy Bye. your dinner. Bye. Bye. A little while later, Nicole had transformed from fearless diver to fashion diva. Okay. Now we have rump served with some glazed veggies, carrots and beetroot. And then we have a Bangkok fillet with some prawns and an aromatic Asian sauce. Thank you. You're welcome. Babe, it all looks so amazing. I can't wait to dig in. Thank you so much. Cheers to us. Cheers. Thanks for being amazing. Cheers. 